What is about to happen to this fully maxed base? And what on earth are all these jump spells for? Can this be a perfect attack? Let's find out! Hey guys, it's me, Spence23 here. I'm back with another in the perfect attack series. So look in my camps, I'm already brewing up to try and replicate the attack we're about to see today. Six golems, oh, it's so expensive. We're blowing the dark elixir here. I might have to go out with some barch after this and recoup my lost, well, unless I find a real whale of a base with about 6,000 dark, this is going to be an expensive attack. So let's take a look at just how expensive. So you're going to need to cook up six golems of your own and then 14 wizards. This does leave you a few spaces left over, I guess about four. You can stick a minion or a couple of archers in there. That's for your clear up troops. And your wonderful clannies need to give you a golem and a wizard and whatever else you might want to clear up with. Here we go. We need one lightning and four jump spells. Now you can see there, there is literally no firepower in your spells and very little firepower in your troops. Now all those of this attack seems expensive. 4,500 isn't a lot more than some of the big attacks at the moment and 180,000 of the pink stuff is actually quite cheap compared to some of the others. So let's go straight over and take a look at a perfect example of the seven golem attack. Now what Snake is doing here is he's laying out his spells. He wants all of his troops to move through this base at precisely the same speed. If any of them go ahead and leave some of the wizards behind, then those wizards are likely to get hit. Now they're so precious because you have so little firepower. We need to keep as many of these wizards alive and behind the golems as possible. Now I think it's quite useful to have the mega heroes for this attack, what with the reduced damage which you have with your troops. Now this king and this queen are walking nicely through the middle they're taking down these defenses pretty quickly king is already into the middle now i think my king might be down by now screaming and crying and wanting to go to sleep but this level 40 is smashing up quite a lot of these defenses he's already on the town hall is he going to get it down and he's got it so these golems are nicely ahead of the queen and she is leisurely strolling through this base taking down the defences. Now once we get to this far wall, this is where things start to get difficult. No wall breakers, no more jump spells. We need to hope that these wizards don't get targeted by any of these defences and can help break through this wall. Now obviously this level 40 queen does help with this wall breaking that we're about to have to do. Um, I'm not sure how much longer mine takes, but if you do have golems in front of your queen, it really doesn't matter as long as they stay alive, she can take her time to smash through this wall. Here she goes, blasting at this wall. It's taking quite a long period of time. She needs to get through here before all these golems are dead, otherwise she's going to start taking some severe beating from the archer tower and the cannon. Here she goes, she's through need this cannon down quickly otherwise i think this queen might start to struggle she's got no ability left to finish this off to three star those wizards just got that cannon down and that little act there of taking down that cannon was i think the difference between a three star and a two star here she goes down with the last defense in this village and this is going to be a three star perfect attack using the seven golems and I think, Snake, I'm going to have to give you a dollar destruction for that attack. Well done, Snake, and I'm going to try and replicate it. Look at that loot! Wow, okay, I, if I can do it for that loot, I'll be most happy. So, here we go. Here are my troops loaded, ready to go. I'm not taking a minion. I hate minions! I think some of you guys who've been watching my videos might know why. Here, here are my spells, there's the four jumps. I've just recently upgraded my spells. I'm gonna show you a little bit later in a video what things I have upgraded. So let's go and try and find a max base. I guess it's the only way to test this. Now what you guys need to remember is, don't be expecting miracles the first time you try and attack. Most attacks need a lot of practice. I need to lose against a lot of bases to know which bases to attack. So this looks big and square. So I guess similar to the perfect attack we just saw. Um, we can give this one a go, I guess. 
I'll get my spells on these two outside sections here. Now this is one big box rather than three which was in snakes but I don't think that's going to make a difference and then I'm going to have to jump two walls here in the middle. So let's see if I can't try get a few golems in following behind with the wizards and try and get them to march at the same speed through this base and try and clear this up. Now I'm not really expecting a three star if I get it on the first attempt that is going to be luck and oh my word so I've just lost a whole bunch of my wizards to traps and bombs so I'm really low on the firepower now there's something I've learned already be very careful where you put the wizards that is a disaster for this attack I think now my golems are all doing fine. I do have a few wizards left following in behind. Very little I can do now to affect this attack. I have a special ability, a lightning and three archers, which I don't think are going to make a great deal of difference. Get that in. Okay, the king has managed to get to the town hall. He's, he's not taken it down, but he's done it some damage. And the queen, she's not under any fire due to the golems. She's going to take it down. So it's not a loss. Brilliant. Well, there's our town hall down. Now, here is the problem we have. I've got golems trapped in both of these compartments. Nothing to help them break through. Probably this wasn't the right strategy for this village. Probably I shouldn't have used three jumps to get into this one compartment. Probably two jumps on the left and on the right. That would have been the solution to this. These golems are still well alive. Uh, I think we could have got a lot further through this base had they been able to jump into the next compartments. But here are my wizards trying to help them through. This attack is basically over. But we do have the two stars. And I think I can see from this what we could use to improve. And what bases we might need to be attacking. So I'm not too depressed about that attempt. Uh, I can definitely see ways of attacking this particular base differently. To have much more success. I don't know whether I could have got a three star. But certainly it would have been. A, I think we could have got 70, 80 percent on this if we'd have jumped through into the second boxes. I'm not going to quit this attack. I'm not a quitter. Let's see just what we can get from this. I don't know what this wizard is doing down here. He smashed his way through this wall. I guess he might be able to get that builder's hut for me. Sorry barracks. Get these two archers onto this hut. We'll get a couple more percent at least. Those poor golems. Absolutely useless. Just getting completely pummeled until they explode. 60% though, not too bad on virtually max base, not upgraded cannons. Uh, bomb. Nice. Thank you very much. So I'll save this lightning. I'm not going to waste that trying to gather up another couple of percent. We'll stick with, what have we got? 61%. Well, not quite a replica of a perfect attack, guys, but I did try and I'm going to go away, practice it, see if I can improve. Now I have to tell you, I have tried this since in war and failed miserably with a one star. Oh, what a loser. Thank you so much for watching though, guys. Please do like, comment and subscribe and I'll be back a little bit later today with some more videos. Send every